Born in Laredo, Texas, Dr. Francisco Gonzalez Cigarroa is from a family of 10 children and a third generation physician. He has worked throughout his career to advance the practice of medicine, to improve patient care, and to save lives through transplant surgery. Dr. Cigarroa draws heavily on his experiences as a child of the South Texas border region. He accompanied his father as he made house calls, and he saw firsthand how a dedicated physician touched everyone he treated, regardless of economic status. His devotion to medicine began during his undergraduate studies at Yale University, followed by a medical degree from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. During his postgraduate training, he served as chief resident in general surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and went on to complete fellowships in pediatric surgery and transplantation surgery at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. In 1995, Dr. Cigarroa joined the faculty of the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio, where he was director of pediatric surgery before serving as president of the institution from 2000 to 2009. In 2009, Dr. Cigarroa became the first Hispanic to be named Chancellor of the University of Texas System. He oversees one of the largest public systems of higher education in the nation, including nine universities and six health institutions. As a featured keynote speaker recently at the American Association of Hispanics in Higher Education's Tomas Rivera Lecture Series, Dr. Cigarroa noted that in Texas demographics, the future is already here and that it is imperative to educate the rapidly growing Hispanic population nationwide. His numerous achievements as a transplant surgeon and his leadership in medical education have been recognized extensively. Dr. Cigarroa is a member of several prestigious academies and professional societies where he shares his knowledge and expertise. President Obama appointed him to serve as a commissioner on the White House Initiative on Educational Excellence for Hispanic Americans. Today, Dr. Cigarroa continues to perform liver and kidney transplants, even as he serves as Chancellor of the University of Texas. For his significant contributions to the fields of medicine and higher education as an, uh, an outstanding role model in the Latino community and the country, Dr. Francisco Cigarroa is awarded the 2013 Chairs Medallion Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Francisco Cigarroa. Buenas noches. Well, thank you very much, uh, Congressman Hino Hassan. And I really want to thank the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute for this extraordinary honor. I am so pleased beyond measure for this recognition. Uh, the road from transplant surgeon to chancellor is a road that's less traveled. I've encountered no other transplant surgeons who lead major public systems of higher education. But you add the word Hispanic, and I may be traveling in a world of my own. But this is going to change because of the great work of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute, and even more important, the immense Hispanic intellectual talent in the United States and around the world. It would have been a lonely journey without the love of my wife, Graciela, our two daughters, my parents, and my siblings, and dozens of friends, teachers, mentors, and professional colleagues. 
and so I thank them all con mucho cariño. Surgery is my passion, but running a university system is a privilege, it's a profound responsibility, and a critically important role in advancing higher education, our democracy, and our economic prosperity. One of the greatest privileges I have had as serving as chancellor is the creation of a new university in South Texas that immediately that immediately will be the second largest Hispanic serving institution in the nation. And it will also include a new school of medicine in one of the most medically underserved regions of our nation. In his classic poem, The Road Not Taken, the poet Robert Frost wrote about two roads diverged in a wood and observed, sorry, I could not travel both. But I have been blessed to travel both and make them converge because I grew up in two wonderful cultures, speaking two languages, and I understand how two can become one. In my life and in the lives of those I continue to serve, that has made all the difference. So again, thank you again for this remarkable honor. Un fuerte abrazo a todos. Felicidades.